Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. The state of Minnesota celebrates the first Indigenous Peoples Day as a state holiday today. Sylvia Martinez takes us to Reconciliation Park in Mankato where a ceremony took place earlier today. The Minnesota legislature passed a bill recognizing October 9th as Indigenous Peoples Day. 2023 marks the fifth year since the city of Mankato adopted the resolution marking the second Monday of October as Indigenous Peoples Day. And probably they, our people, were the first patriots of Minnesota that uh, they fought for their homelands here. In Mankato, Veterans for Peace hosted a ceremony at Reconciliation Park along with a Dakota scholar. As veterans, and these Dakota warriors were veterans of a war too, and to commemorate them. 38 minutes for each of the 38 Dakota men executed in 1862. His household, a good name. Those 38 uh, Dakota people and uh, Dakota men, because they, they they defended our people, our, our women, our children, our babies, and our elders, and then protected, fought for our land. Even though the day is close to an end, community members are asked to continue with Indigenous people's education and advocacy. To read, to read, read books written by Native scholars and academics. Sofia Martinez, KEYC, News Now. There will be events all across the state to celebrate the day. Tonight, St. Peter is hosting its annual walk that started at 5 at the St. Peter Middle School and ends at 7 at Minnesota Square Park. In Mankato, the city's Indigenous Peoples Day Committee will host Mariah Gladstone, founder of Indigi Kitchen, to speak about food sustainability. That event is free to the public. It will be held at the MSU Mankato Ostrander Auditorium. It began at 6 and it runs until 8 o'clock.